particular one doesn't need the stabilizer. Well, if we're testing RNA, yeah, but yes. that would be kind of like before it gets here. All that's done before it oh, arrives okay. at the machine. Okay. Yeah. yeah, this is just the, the, the testing machine in the end. The but, but there's so a yeah, there's an automated process. Is for it that. in vials or I didn't I missed the whole? Yeah, where's the kit? What does the kit look like? The one that has the hundred. Is that this is, is that what I'm no, doing? So 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 those those uh, those boxes since uh, you know these uh, the liquid volumes are tiny. You know, mm -hmm. this, this this liquid here, I mean, when we fill this up with a, with the reagent, I mean, it Tiny. only goes until about that high. I see. Each yeah. test. It's only like one fraction of this entire, of this entire tube. And that's okay. all the blood you need to go in there? No, the that's blood, all the agent oh, that's a good need. question. Mm -hmm. The blood, you need more blood mm -hmm. than that, much more than that. Mm -hmm. okay. But you purify and concentrate the RNA okay. at the sample prep step. So we'll use approximately one mil of blood. To, to put into there eventually. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, so there's what, uh, it's called magnetic bead separation. Mm -hmm. and so what happens is, since magnetic beads can be collected at the bottom of the tube, all the RNA that they collect mm -hmm. gets concentrated into that little sample. And then oh. eventually it can go in there. Okay. So it's, it's concentrated. He was telling me about the, um, about the testing kit, about the temperature. So we have to keep it at a certain temperature at you know transportation or oh yeah yeah, yeah. The, so what's the, the, the challenge for the, the us? kit by itself has to be minus twenty at all time the kit the kit has the test kit so when so what's the challenge we we have to face to send it out of the country no don't have challenge we have system in play it's easy yeah. yeah now I'm concerned about the other side you know that's why when they have it and they see the kit they need to store minus twenty I see and so when the, they pick it up they pick it up at the port they have to have refrigerated. When they ship, it's, well, it's the cold shipping all the okay, way so to the destination. Okay. So right. minus 20s are pretty common. Okay. Uh, so minus 20 is like your, your household refrigerator, but just a little bit cold. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, the other ones that are like severely cold are the mm -hmm. one that's sitting right there. Mm -hmm. Those are minus 80s. We don't have anything in there that requires that kind of refrigerator. It's mostly basically these kind of things. But you see, uh, in the industry, they, they know how to. They know. Okay. They, yeah, yeah. Every, everybody has they have, that kind of freezer and. and if they use the tap, they 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 have a city for this. Okay. Like usually, they have a walk-in freezer. There's there's many other tests that require frozen components. So any lab, you ha you can't have a lab without having freezers. Yeah. yeah everybody has. Freezers. I think he's talking about the transportation. Transportation so from here if, to Asia yeah, and then Asia into dry, the local. Dry, dry ice. Yeah, yeah. Dry so ice. what happens if it falls? Above the temperature, what happens? So there's there there are there are styrofoam boxes that are meant to have a certain number of days. So mm -hmm. yeah. depending on how far the shipment is, mm -hmm. you, you change the thickness of the styrofoam box. Yeah. I see. And then you put a certain amount of dry ice in there, and it keeps. But we have a company do that. Ah, uh, perfect. Company, company yeah. guarantee us shipping method. Okay. So. Now, do you uh, <laughs> normally ship it as like a regular ship, uh, or you you do airlines? No, no, they have to be airlines. They, they have the special company to do this shipment for this car product only. I see, I see. It's not like regular shipping. I see. You know, Fred F, they have it to be this area, have to, but they only ship medical product only. Okay. So that means so, when so they distributor, ship product only. Yeah, so distributor or buyers that purchases our product, mm -hmm. do they pay extra for the shipping or we cover that they for them? They pay for shipping. I see. Also, yeah. Okay. But yeah. We, we can get them a shipping company here. I see. We work with them. Perfect. You know? Shipping didn't call out much, you know, mm -hmm. but only they guarantee the shipping. Yeah, because your product is very light, so it's not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah. And you uh, like, like this is small box. I see. Like this, we will uh, send it. Uh, he will send. Uh, the okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Something like this. Yeah. Like oh, wonderful. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you, you can yeah. you send? Oh, she sent. He sent the PDF. Yeah, yeah. We we'll have here for them later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And this test, this part here, once it reaches this machine, it's about an hour. About an hour and get the results. And the results, what they look like. So, uh, there's this is called a thermal cycler, and the reason it is because it, it heats. It heats and cools, heats and cools. Every time it heats and cools, it doubles the amount of uh, material that was in the original. Uh -huh. So, you go from like 10 copies, 20, 40, 80, 160. And eventually, <laughs> what happens uh, is that through. once you've gone through a certain number of doublings, which is what people call cycles, okay, um, then there's enough material there to be detected by the probe that's, that's inside the that's inside those parts. I see. So that's when you have to amplify it. There's just no other way to do it. Okay. So this this program will allow you to see if the patient has yeah. HIV. Or yeah. 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 Absolutely. Okay. So so that's what it would look like. There's nothing there. And that's what it looks like when there's nothing there. Okay. And we have five copies, <clears throat> fifty copies, 
500 copies, uh, 5,000 and 50,000 copies. See, see. You can see what's happening is it's starting to go backwards. If you look at them yeah. all at once. You see that, now you're in the dentist. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You got it. If you look at them all at once, what happens is if you start with more copies in the beginning, you get to that threshold earlier. That's how people do the quantification.